First, National Senator and former frontbencher Matt Canavan has told Sky News he would be willing to vote against Liberal Party policy if it's in the best interests of his electorate. It's just the latest headache for Deputy Prime Minister Michael McCormack as he's forced to dismiss reports he'll stand aside to make way for his deputy to take over the Nationals' leadership. There have been suggestions over the weekend that the Deputy Prime Minister is planning to hand over the reins of the Nationals in an orderly transition. Not so, says Michael McCormack. He says he hasn't thought that, hasn't said that, and it's untrue. Fact is, I'm the leader and I'm going to lead the Nationals to the next election. The former Cabinet Minister Matt Canavan says he fully supports the leader. Michael has my full support now and I'm just getting on with the job of uh, being a senator for this great state of Queensland. And so, given that confidence you've got in him, can you rule out supporting another challenge before the next election? Well, I don't see any prospect of that happening. You don't see a prospect, but can you rule it out? Well, well, of course, you know, I, I'm not going to predict events in the future, but I cannot see that happening. Now liberated from Cabinet discipline, Matt Canavan says he'll cross the floor against government legislation if need be. My job uh, as a senator for Queensland, particularly representing regional Queensland, is to make sure we are not forgotten. In that context, would you vote against a Liberal Party position on climate or energy policy in the Parliament if you thought it was going to hurt your constituents? Well, look, well, the short answer is yes. There's been speculation that the Queensland Senator might quit federal politics and run in the November Queensland election. But he says that idea has been vetoed. And my wife's vetoed it. It's not going to happen. Um, uh, I've had enough change in my life last couple of weeks, Kieran. I don't need it to impose any more on my family. So Matt Canavan will remain in federal politics and as such, as an outspoken backbencher, will be someone to be managed by the Prime Minister and Deputy PM. Matt Canavan also says suggestions Australia could adopt a climate target of net zero emissions by 2050 are fantastical. The Morrison government is currently considering a new long-term emissions reduction strategy, which could include a possible shift to a net zero emissions target ahead of a UN climate summit later this year. As the Prime Minister faces a party room divided on the issue of climate change, he's also under pressure to do more from the international community, with the UK urging Australia to commit to the 2050 target. National Senator Matt Canavan has slammed the proposal, telling Sky News it doesn't make sense. I haven't looked at uh, the modelling or costs and benefits of net zero emissions closely because it just seems so fantastical to me. It seems like the kind of things that governments say uh, because they're not doing much today but they'd like to try and uh, hoodwink people that they might do something in 30 years' time. I mean, it's, it's exactly the same as saying, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose 10 kilos in 10 years' time. But I'm not going to do anything about it today. I'm not going to go for a jog or I'm not going to go to the gym. Um, but it, trust me, in 10 years' time, I'll do something. Uh, I, I mean, it doesn't really sound real to me. Deputy Prime Minister Michael McCormack has also criticised a possible commitment to net zero emissions by 2050, as recommended by the International Panel on Climate Change. The IPCC is not governing Australia, the Liberals and Nationals are. We took our climate policies, we took our uh, emission reductions policies, we took all of those to the election last May and we were re-elected. The Australian people have spoken. Uh, we're not run by international organisations, we're run by Australians.